Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Native. Today we are going to learn about the stepper UI in React Native. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So this is the stepper form. You can see that when I go back, next, when the one form done, then go to the next, then next. This form can be usable in the e-commerce applications where we have the shipping address, billing address, and the payments right so here you can make it on that way right so it can be used that way okay and also you can make it vertical also like uh, whether the order is shipped whether the order is delivered invoice raise or something you can also use this one also right so let's see how we are going to build this so first of all you have to install the package whose name is npm my react native step by ui okay so you need to install this package after installing the package let's go to the properties right so here you can see that i have used react native stepper ui right so here i have make the components okay so here we have the components where i'm passing the title and just uh, you getting from the props the title like component one and component two you can see that component three back component two back component one so whenever there is a shift there is a checkbox that this this form is done this one is done and this one is done right after the finish you will get the log that the all the steps are finished then you can redirect to the next page whether it's to be a payment gateway or something you can use that one right so this is the components that we are creating after this we have a states so active and the set active so here we have the view and then we have we have to call the stepper and here we have to pa pass the state active content we here we have to pass you can see that we have our content where with the multiples so you can pass three four five whatever you can pass right and on back so you have to go with the p minus one okay so set active p minus one on finish we will alert that uh, the steps are finished on next so here whenever we click on the next button we can do perform the actions with this one so it is p plus one and it's p minus one right so this is the basic form that you can do with that one right and this is very simple code that you can do the step perform into your react native application right any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day